Penang, arguably the food mecca of Southeast Asia, with so many tourists flocking to this northern Malaysian city to tackle tasty treats from traditional vendors and restaurants that have been mastering recipes and secret ingredients through generations. Today we are going to take you to the most famous vendors to try the most sought after dishes in Malaysia's food capital on an epic Penang food tour. Like legit, this is so good. That will leave your mouth watering, taste buds tingling and your fingertips booking flights here as soon as possible. Okay, so welcome back or welcome if you are new here. We are at our first stop today on the food tour around Penang. We are on Jalan McAllister and this is Sister Yao's and we are here for the Chao Kui Kak. Let's go check it out. These sisters are serving succulent char koi kak, a Malaysian breakfast dish that these lovely ladies have been cooking up for decades after inheriting the family business from their father. Okay, so I am excited about this. It is breakfast time. I'm a breakfast fiend. I love breakfast. Breakfast is one of my favorite meals of the day. And we have a few of them this morning. I'm so excited. This one, however, is really interesting. Not only the backstory, but also what this dish is. This doesn't look like cake <laughs> at all. You've got bean sprouts in there, a dark soy sauce. You've got preserved egg. And then you have this fried rice cake in these big chunks. Doesn't look like a traditional breakfast, especially Western, but it is. Let's try it. It's got that kind of consistency of scrambled egg, but it's kind of overpowered by the bean sprout crunchiness. They're like crisp nature. When you bite into a bean, bean, <laughs> bean sprout, it's kind of cool. Let's try this big rice cake. It's soft and malleable, but also kind of chewy. It's really hard to describe. It is a very strong taste. I think of sauce. That's really good. Breakfast, not so much a Western one, but I could have this here for breakfast, I think. Oh, cool. Closer than chicken and rice for me. <laughs> so that was five ringgit. And just to keep in mind, I have found in Penang that you get the food from the food stalls and then you sit in a cafe and you buy the drinks from the cafe in order to sit there. The drink itself was two ringgit. So all together, it was seven ringgit for that meal. Let's head to the next place. We have obviously started off really well because this is the longest line I have ever seen for food in my entire life. So that must mean it's what worth it. Doing? There's a little rule or saying we live by when we travel. And it's if there's locals there, a lot of locals, I reckon it's a good place to go. Let's try. Okay, we are here at Roni Bakar on Hutton Lane and honestly, that was a 45 minute wait. It's currently quarter past, quarter past, I don't, can you see? I don't know if you can see, it's quarter past 11. Um, and we got here at around about 10.30. So that was a long wait. This looks worth it. There's a ton of people here. Um, but I've got the tea tarik, which I've spilt all over myself and all over the table. And we also have my Milo ice. If you know me, you know I can't go without my Milo ice. So leave a comment in below. Hashtag Team Milo. Before I try this roti bakar, this apparently really famous roti bakar, the grab drives today all around the city of Penang are gonna cost me an absolute mozzah fortune. So make sure you like this video before we go on. I'll wait. Super glad to eat. Okay, moving on. You know what? It's bread, it's butter, it's eggs, and it's so good. This is amazing. I love it. Can't go wrong with eggs. Probably some condensed milk or sugar. Some, probably some, I saw him put some condensed milk on some of them. It's a tad bit sweet, but definitely the butter on the toast is really sweet. I really like it. That's the best one I've had. Yeah? I think, yeah, I think that's the best one. I think the one at Mansion. Actually, yeah, you're right. Mansion tea stall one was slightly uh, more like foamy. I feel like he pulled it like, uh, fresher or something um, but the taste of this one is really nice so I'm gonna link Manchester tea store that we went down in the description bar below make sure you go check that out and remember we're linking all the places we go today down there as well so check that one out after you're done watching this video okay so the one piece of that bread plus the Milo ice and the tea tarik was 850 ringgit but now it's time to move on to the next one which is exciting let's go we're done with the breakfast now let's get into some real food All right, we're here at King Kim Cafe. There's lots of vendors around the outside. Everyone's busy. Everyone's dipping some food in, some oil to make some deep fried stuff. But I asked for the, what is it again? Lawback. Lawback. I asked for the lawback. That's right. 
skip my mind for a second. And it's five spice like pork roll. I think that's what it's meant to be. I just ordered raw back, but I got a whole plate of like deep fried prawns and, and tofu as well. Um, comfort prawns and sauce. Are, prawns are shrimp for everyone. Oh yeah, prawns are shrimp, but we call them prawns in Australia. So let's eat this raw back. Okay, it's like a sausage on the inside. It's pretty much a sausage encased with like like deep fried. It tastes like something deep fried. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the sauce. Alright, let's give it a go. For record, I'm a big fan of sausage, so. Oh, yum. Yum. Really good. You're right. It's like, it tastes like a mixture between like a, a deep fried piece of pork, like like you like it, like a pork dish in in your chai fai towel or something like a pork virgin. Um, normal deep fried pork that you would get in any noodle meal or something like that, but it's got like a sausage casing that feels deep fried. It's still kind of like a sausage casing in the way that it's like thin and, and like paper thin, but it, it's like it's like a deep fried sausage essentially is what it tastes like. The sauce is really nice. It's like sweet and and spicy at the same time. That complements it really well. Okay, so if we're doing things that we have to eat in Penang, you have to have char kway tao. Let's go. <laughs> Just kidding, we've already had it. So go <laughs> go check my first video here from um, Penang. I put it in the description bar below. We had it there on our first day here by accident. I didn't actually know how big it was here in Penang. But if we're doing a video all about things that you have to eat here, that's definitely top of the list. So make sure you go check out that video. But let's get into the next thing. Okay, we are full of food from doing this food tour for you all day. Our last piece of food that we were gonna have before our snacks and our desserts was popia. However, we went to the most recommended, the most popular place to get popia from, Parang Brown, and it was closed. So we found that this place was the place to go for popia, but it is closed. Then we went to the second place in Gurney. There was a massive hawker center there. You should go anyway. However, this one's also closed. <laughs> so we, Honestly, you don't know where we are. We found this random place and we saw it sells Popia. Hopefully it's the good one, hopefully it's good. It might not be the best, but the food itself was one of the best things to try, whether this is the right place or not. So let's go check it out. Popia? Yeah. How, how much for one? Uh, one set, two pieces, five fifty. One set, two pieces, five fifty. Okay, I'll grab that one. Okay. Big tea? Oh, big tea, tea, yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. It's a good menu, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and so Smells fresh. Hmm. Very cabbagey. Like it's got a lot of cabbage stuffed on the inside there. It's wrapped but very thinly. And that's all I can really taste that's in this one. This is the part where I confess. This isn't actually my first puppy. Well, it kind of is. Michael had one uh, not too long ago. And I had one little bite of it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. That was in a, uh, a mall. And I liked it a lot better than this one. That's, <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> that one was better to me. I think it had meat in it. I think that may be what it was. I really like the meat. This one isn't bad. I think there's just a lot to be desired with this. There's not much flavor to this one at all. Um, still, still good. Not my favorite, have to be honest. But I do wonder what it would have been like if we got the best place for it. So maybe we'll have to come back to Penang. Okay, so before we jump into the dessert you are all probably waiting for, first we have this one. It is most famous in Penang, and this is the guy to get it from. Let's go. delicious this smells right up my alley I love egg I love pancakes this is sort of reminiscent of a really thin crepe that's kind of what I'm getting from this I think I'm gonna like this one mm, literally like a pancake with egg how can you go wrong like legit this is so good this is so good very simple I feel like there's not that many ingredients there's some pancake butter chuck an egg in yeah I like it simple effective delicious I can see of the two that we've had this morning this would be my pick for a breakfast dish um, I like eggs um, and I like pancakes I really like this the egg has sort of 
cooked into the pancake so there's no runny bits or anything it's all sort of just like part of the like pancake crepe now and you get like that fluffy bit of egg white when you eat into it as well delicious so remember we are sourcing all of these places for you these are the places to go and that was the best one i haven't had any others but that was really good it was five ringgit for five pieces of the normal one now let's go to the long awaited long awaited most requested most interesting dessert let's go check it out okay so we have come to the place to come for Chendol in Penang. These are two stores opposite each other. Complete utter rivals, I have heard. And they're literally across the road. One's there and there. So we um, can't really decide which one to go for because they look exactly the same. So we're gonna scissors paper rock to see which one we should go for. <laughs> I'm gonna be which one? Penang Road Famous. Penang. Gotcha. And I'm gonna be Penang Road Famous. And Michael's gonna be Penang Road Famous. So you can see there's maybe a little bit of uh, inspiration coming from each other there. Alright. Alrighty. Oh wait. Scissors paper rock. Oh wait. Alright, we got this one. <laughs> That was so cool. He was like slinging the beans around and all of the. I'm actually not sure. It's like so soy milk or something. I don't know. I, I didn't look it up beforehand. So tell me in the comments below what this like milky thing is. Uh, straight away, a lot more simple straight, than the Malacca yeah, one. Yeah, it's like we had one in Malacca, the Chendol. Um, this one is straight up more simple, way more runny. Um, the one in Malacca was like really. It's shaved solid. ice. Shaved ice was yeah. solid. It had ice cream on the top. It had all the like mango fillings and stuff. This one has like. Looks like four ingredients like milk, ice, green noodles, and beets. <laughs> the green so, noodles is chendol. Oh, that's the chendol. Yeah. Oh, duh. Well, okay. All right. Wow. Okay. There's a lot going on. <laughs> is this? Is it soy milk? It has like the soup stuff has like a like a weird taste. It's sweet. There's obviously some kind of like sugar in there, brown sugar. Okay. I'm gonna go out there and say it, and everyone's gonna hate me. I can tell. I like the one from Malacca more. I know, I know this is the original, I know it's soupy. See if Josie's right about it being better in Malacca. This is more sweet as in the syrup itself, but when you said it, I thought you were just being controversial, but I like the one in Malacca more as well. I think, I think I just like fruit with my desserts. Okay, so that one was about four something ringgit. I can't really remember, 410 or 450 or something. So I have a quick little disclaimer, okay? Just because I like, don't like something doesn't mean you don't have to like something. So I've noticed on my channel, on my TikTok, everything like that, some people get quite angry that I don't love everything that I taste. And I'm gonna be completely honest, no matter what I'm doing, where I am, what is going on, that's just who I am. If I don't like something, I'm gonna say I don't like it. It doesn't mean you can't like it. It doesn't mean it's not good. It just means it might not be for me. And that's totally okay. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not someone who can stand and say I like something when I don't. So keep that in mind. You are allowed to love this. I, it doesn't mean disrespect on anyone's culture. Leave me down in the comments below which chendol you like. If you like the one from Malacca, the new version, or this one, the sort of traditional one, let me know down below. So if you haven't already liked this video, like it before you leave, and also consider subscribing if you like my content. The button is down below, it's free, helps me with my channel, helps you to get more videos like this from me. If you like this video, video if you like this video, you're gonna like one of the ones on the screen, so go watch that after this one. But I hope you have a lovely day, and I hope you liked this tour of Penang. As always, I can't get to every everything in the city so if you're from Penang or if you're from Malaysia or if you have any other suggestions for anyone trying the best food here in Penang leave them down in the comments below for us all to see and I'll see you in the next one bye